we're going to do an example of direct and inverse variation in the same problem. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to read that first. The volume V is directly proportional to the square of the radius R and to the height H, but inversely proportional to the time T. First thing we have to do, write the relationship giving the volume. So first you have to reread that the volume V is directly proportional. So what does that mean? It means that V is equal to K to the square of the radius. So directly proportional to the square of the radius and to the height h so multiplied also by h but it is also inversely proportional to the time t so all of that divided by t and that's it we found our general equation for this situation now i have to find k if I have some value for V, R, H, and T. So we have experimental values and we have to calculate K. So we have to first isolate K in that original equation. And I can do that by dividing my V by one, which does not change the equation. And I can cross multiply. So I'll have V multiplied by T is equal to K multiplied by r squared multiplied by h and then to isolate my k i will divide by r squared h so it's going to be v multiplied by t divided by r squared h that is equal to k so now that i've isolated my k i will plug in my values so my k is going to be equal to I will plug in my value for V. It's going to be 5.4 meter cubed multiplied by my T, which is 2.0 hours. All of that over R squared, which is 1.8 meter squared multiplied by H, which is my height. 0 0.45 meter and I can also figure out at that point what's going to be my units for my uh, k so I can see that got meter cubed here meter squared and meters so what does that mean I'll have meter multiplied by meter squared it's going to be meter cubed at the bottom so I can cancel out those meters and all that's going to be left is hours. And I did my calculations for you guys. It's going to be 740, 7.40, 74, 74, dot, dot, dot. Why the dot, dot, dot? It's because I have to store into my calculator because we never never ever round constants in our model because we will have to do multiple calculations with that number here and if we round it we'll have additional errors on our results and it's going to be in hours so you always store that into your calculator. And now we can find values of V for different values of R, H, and T using that constant K. So now I will use the original model where V is equal to K, which is 7.4074 dot 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 hours multiplied by r squared r squared which is 1.6 meter squared 
multiplied by h which is 0 0.34 meters divided by t which is 1.5 hours and now I can also check my units and see that the hours on top will cancel out the hours at the bottom and I will combine meter squared with meters so I'll have meters cubed exactly what I'm looking for I'm lucky looking for a volume so I did my calculations I got 4.29 six two seven dot 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 meter cubed and now I have to round to the correct number of sig figs because I did multiplications and divisions if I count my sig figs here I got two two here two here so I have to round that to four point three meters cubed so I have to round to two sig figs and that's it I'm done see you at the quiz